What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scale It Learning channel. And today we are back at it with the SAT Khan Academy series for digital SAT math. We are on to problem solving and data analysis ratios, rates, and proportions, which is awesome because historically this is the most popular category on the SAT. At least that's how it's always been. I think that's going to continue how it will be going forward in terms of the breakdown of percentage of types of questions. So this is a very, very important one. We're going to bang out four problems as we do in the series. We're still on level foundations. Let's get into it. Here we go. Enzo saw 72 theater productions last year, of which 20 were musicals. What is the ratio of the number of musicals to total number of theater productions? So ratio, and, and again, this is one way to present a ratio. You could also present it as a fraction. But it's basically musicals, that's what they said, to total theater productions, which is 72. Now, they don't have this exact answer, but what you can do is just like a fraction, you can simplify. So what can we divide both of these by? I can divide both of them by four, it looks like, right? 20 divided by four is five. 72 divided by four is 18. Again, if you don't know that mentally, you can use a calculator. But anyways, that's the simplified ratio. Five to 18, D is the winner, boom, done. Okay, moving along. And as you see, right, just to reiterate, I'm seeing these questions for the first time, so I'm handling them with you, teaching them to you as, as I solve them, which I feel is the best way to learn and prepare for this test. All right, next one. Two ingredient cookie recipe uses two thirds cup of mashed bananas and one cup of quick oats. Okay, two thirds cups of mashed bananas and one cup of oats. All right, um, which of the following is a ratio of mashed bananas to quick? Okay, so the ratio is two thirds to one. Now again, this is correct, but they don't have this, right? But what did they do? You can kind of guess that they they made everything into whole numbers, right? So we're or integers, whole numbers, you know. And how? So basically, the question is, how do I convert two thirds to a nice whole number in the simplest way possible? Multiply by three. But if I multiply that one by three, uh, I, oops, not double colon. Multiply by three, but I have to multiply this by three as well, just like a fraction. If you're multiplying, you got to multiply numerator and denominator by the same value. Three times two thirds is two. Three times one is three. It's a two to three ratio, which means B is the winner. Notice the order does matter because they said bananas to oats, not oats to bananas, then it would be three, two. There we go. Next. At a fundraiser, JJ won 17 of the 19 poker hands she played. What is the rate? Okay. What is the ratio of the number of hands JJ won to the total that she played? Okay. So it looks like she played a total of 19 and won 17. Hold on. Let me make sure I didn't misread this. What is the ratio of the number of hands won to the total? Yeah. So this is pretty straightforward. This one, there's no simplification, nothing we need to do. 17 and 19 is the winner, which means B is the one, boom, done. All right, next, number four, here we go. Susan owns 20 board games and eight card games. 20 board games, eight card games. What is the ratio to the number of board games to the number of card games? Straight up, presented 20 to eight, in that order, 20 to eight. But again, they reduced it, right? I can divide both of them by what? By four, right? We do the max value. So divide 20 by four, it's five. Divide eight by four, it's two which means D is the winner. Now, obviously, when we go to the higher levels of difficulty, there'll be a little bit more to these problems, but this gets your feet wet, gets you familiar with the main concept, and that's the goal of this series, right? So hopefully you're following along. We're going to be streaming on the daily. and going to do another stream later today. Same thing on the next category. So I hope you like it. I hope you're valuing these instructional videos, and by the end of it, hopefully we're going to get you super, super prepared for this digital SAT in March. Make sure to click that like button if you did like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel. Last but not least, check out the SATcrashcourse.com. Use the code SCALAR for 20% off. That is my partner. They are amazing. 20 digital SATs practice ready to go for you if you need it for this March SAT. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.